kids i hope you all are good and uh, enjoying this new way of learning so today we are going to start the chapter which is soil let's see what are the topics that we are going to learn in this chapter today they are soil formation soil profile and layers of soil okay so let's start first of all what is soil kids soil is top layer of the earth surface it is made up of dirt and rocks yes it is made up of dirt and rock the topmost layer that you can see around you we call it soil okay then next voice why soil is important kids a variety of living beings like insect earthworms live in the soil so we can say uh, it's the home for them so they need to live in the soil okay next for plants soil serves as storehouse of water and minerals needed for their growth as we all know to grow for plants to grow they need water and minerals and from where they'll get it they'll get it only on only from soil okay next it provides shelter to many animals that live on or in the soil okay it provides shelter or we can say we already discussed that uh, it's a house for many living beings okay next without without soil there would be no grass no crops no trees no food for us and other animals see we will not we will not get anything to eat without soil so you can imagine how much important it is okay let's see how soil is formed formation of soil kid soil has taken thousands of years years to form the soil that you as uh, you can see around you it took how many years almost thousands of years to convert in the soil from big rocks yes the soil convert from big rock okay as you can see big rocks break down into smaller rock by continuous action of the wind rain wind and rain it takes many years for those rocks to break down into smaller rock okay a number of natural forces called agents yes natural forces like wind rain sun animal plants they work or we can say they affect the rock big rocks to convert into soil okay first the big rocks convert into smaller rocks then after that smaller rocks again convert into more smaller rocks like that this process goes on and finally it converts into soil okay here we can see it includes the agents uh, wind water the sun's heat plants and animals okay and kids this process is very slow as you can see if it is taking thousands of years it must be very very slow and after thousands of years also it makes only 1 cm layer of the soil and that 1 cm layer of the soil is the topmost layer top uh, topmost layer of the soil okay next uh, let's understand this through this picture okay one of the way of converting big rock into soil is weathering let's see what is weathering as you can see here in the first picture there is parent rock okay big rocks we have and in the second picture you can see the effect of because of the effect of sun uh, these rocks get expanded okay expansion happen then in the uh, night time when sun is not there these rocks again contracted okay we call it contraction contracted in the day it expanded and in the night it gets contracted and the continuous process of expansion and contraction we call it weathering okay kids and because of this uh, continuous ex expansion and contraction the rock cracked up and finally it convert into soil as you can see in the last picture the big rock converted into smaller rocks and smaller rock again converted into more smaller one then finally it converted into soil okay i hope you understood next soil profile 
What is soil profile? Soil is found in many layers. We can see the topmost layer only, but it has many layers, which are which are arranged during the formation of soil. When soil formed, it arranged accordingly, and we call these layers horizons. Okay, what we with what we can call them horizons, and the horizons arranged in the sequence we call it soil profile. Okay, and the layers of soil can be easily observed by their color and size of particles. Yes, we, we can differentiate between the layers by just seeing their color and size of particles. How much big or small particles are there, and what is the color? You can find it out. Okay, the main layers of the top uh, of the soil are, as you can see in the picture, topsoil, subsoil, and the bedrock. And each layer has its own characteristics. What? Own characteristics? Now let's see what are the characteristics. As I say, we can call them uh, call these layers horizons. So first one, horizon A, or we can also call it top soil. Okay. It is also called the humus layer, which is rich in organic material. Yes, humus layer. Why we can call it humus layer? What is humus actually first? And organ uh, why uh, it is written that uh, rich in organic material? Okay, let me tell you. Humus is mixture of dead plants and dead animals in this soil. Upper soil has a mixture of dead plants and dead animals. That's why we can uh, call it that it is rich in organic material the material which is very useful to grow crops and the reason is this humus only that it has dark brown color what it has dark brown color okay the humus makes the topsoil soft and porous because of humus only the soil is soft and porous and it holds much water and enough air okay it holds air also and water also and in this layer seeds germinate okay what's grow in this seeds and roots of the plants grow okay seeds germinate and root of the plants grow inside next many living organisms like earthworms millipedes and centipedes bacteria and fungi are found in this layer of the soil you can find these type of insects in this layer of the soil okay next we'll see next layer of the soil that is horizon b and we also call it subsoil just below the top soil lies another layer just below the top soil that we see that we have seen in the last slide after that what comes subsoil it is comparatively harder and compact than Top soil. Top soil is soft, but the subsoil is harder. It is lighter in color and the top soil and then the top soil because there is less humus in this layer. Okay, so top soil was in dark in color, but subsoil is not dark in color because it has very less humus. Because uh, we can say the color of the top soil is dark just because of humus. And in this subsoil, we don't have much humus. Okay, next, this layer is less organic but rich in minerals. It is not organic at uh, as it is. It doesn't have humus, but it is rich in minerals brought down from the top soil. Top soil se thodi se minerals niche aa jate hain. Okay, next, farmers often mix horizon A and horizon B when pluffing their fields. Okay, so farmers use both the layers, top soil also and subsoil also for growing the crops okay next okay next one horizon c and we call it bedrock also bedrock is also known as parent rock and lies just below the subsoil first topsoil after that subsoil then last we, uh, we have bedrock it contains no organic matter and made up of stones and rocks only okay there there's no humus nothing as you can see in the picture also okay it is all made up of rock next we uh, next i'm going to give you home assignment kids you have to draw the diagram of soil profile that you have just seen 
okay and you have to write down the properties of each layer okay i want at least uh, two two properties okay thank you have a good day